hello there it's tanya from tattoo treasures um it's the first this week of the woodland wonders and um we're gonna make two projects today it might be a bit of a long video um hopefully that'll be okay because i think the last few have been a bit sh a bit shorter um i just want to show you what what i've been up to so i've been making um two more envelope journals i've not um you know completed the front yet but they're the ones that that are gonna go on um i've used one a4 envelope and one a5 envelope and joined them up so this is using uh tina at shabby dabby doodah's kit um woodland fall fall i forget what it's called but the link will be in the description let me just move the camera up a little bit that's it um she has got she brought it out last year and it was um a kit with one one was with papers one was ephemera and this year she's bought out another paper pack just to freshen it up so i've used both of those kits and the ephemera kit and i've also used the ephemera that we've made um during the woodland wonders so um all the backing paper and that is is from the kit there's only the odd thing that isn't from the kit so i will only mention things that aren't in the kit so i'm not keep saying this is from tina's kit um so let's start so you open it up and you've got um this double page on here is one of the straw envelopes from julie's shop which is camilla's craft all the dis uh, links will be in the description box so we made this um well we decorated this <coughs> inside it's just got some uh little bits and pieces journal cards and such and it's got a journal card here which we made that in the woodland series which was just stamping with the the lovely memento due drops and leaf stamp got a massive uh jumbo journal card there um i do need to this will be all built up and and stuff and i'm gonna have an eyelet there with a uh, seam binding so i do need to finish that bit and so i need another full day at them um this is the envelope pocket that we made it did have a flap on it but i cut it off uh so this tag would would fit there nicely um that's one of the like scrappy bands that we made just put a little band here with two little tags um that's like a bookmark woodland kit from i can't remember where um but the link will be in the description there's a journal card there. Most of the big ones I've been sewn round and, and backed. Yeah. What's that? Uh, another journal card there. Oh. <laughs> and I've just done a little top, top spot there with just a little card there. So that goes in there, that opens up. In here, there will be um, like, well, just a little bit smaller than an A5 um, small journal. It'll have about 10 pages in, so that'll be 40 sides. So it opens up like that. Uh, I've done a belly band, well, side tuck there. This is ephemera from Lorna's shop at Taylor Made Journals. Uh, that's from our ephemera kit and these are from, not sure if that one's an Artie Mays or not, but that's definitely uh, from Lorna's shop. That's one of her envelope kits. I've sewn it together um, so it 
it is actually um you could use it as a pocket somewhere but you know you can store other things in it so did these on film little slot pocket there with just some tiny embellishments so that slips there here there's an envelope and there's a card in here yep yeah. it is a bit of a tight squeeze and i couldn't put um a pulley thing on it really i could have done with doing the card about that small um but then it would have been really small anyway um just decorated then we've got a little journal card one of the collage cards that i did on film and quite a big notepad and these are from like binder um folders and you can take that off and refill your papers i've just stamped the, the front one and it's got some paper in from from amazon it's just one of those aged um paper pads i think you get about 50 uh sheets then got a little hidden spot there so that's that that's that and on the back there's a big pocket and there's two tags which we've made in the series i don't think this video has come out yet um made three different types of tags and then there's a little notebook there again with the papers from uh amazon and i think i've asked yeah i've just stapled those ones then then there's a little pocket there i've not put anything in that pocket so that is that one i'm hoping to get another day on them this week and and get them uh totally finished so do expect these to to pop up in in etsy at some point this week so that's that um and like i say that will go there i'm gonna sew it onto um i don't know if to put some of the tea bags behind it or um some brown paper or something just to give it some you know um i don't think i'll put anything else on it i don't think it needs uh anything else and we'll just have a quick look through the badger one um you know same but just obviously different same but different <laughs> so got the envelope there big tag well big journal card another journal card the envelope and that that one that one that one <laughs> i've tried to um make them a little bit different like color color wise um the ephemera in there and the little slot pocket that's the um journal card that and the pad and then that's the hidden writing spot there that flips up <coughs> another journal card oh excuse me just have a drink mm, that's better um and then at the back oh again um there'll be the notebook in that bit probably will need to take that off a bit but um yeah, I need to go around to make sure everything's properly stuck down. I go around and check everything, make sure everything's inked, um, and then get the the notebook in and finish the the covers. And then, oh, and I need to build this up a bit more so it it comes to about there, and then it's gonna have a, an eyelet and some sorry silk or seam binding uh where am i <laughs> here uh again small notebook and two more tags and 
that is that it's like really lovely kit beautiful colors um love the animals in this one and that is is my favorite um sheet from from the kit so that is those um what we're doing today <laughs> so window envelopes um i was looking off for um my friend Roxana from America to send me her junk mail <laughs> because uh, your junk mail envelopes are so interesting as they're just boring. Uh, so I've got one here with the uh, double pockets, pockets, windows, and I've done that as a side, yeah. Um, and I've just put a journal card in from the Artemis fern and mushroom kit and I've just cut the envelopes down just to fit the cards right I do need to ink round the cards and they all need a tab on which I'll do that off camera and I think they all need inking round the actual envelope so that's that one that's that one I think that's the top one I'm so not going to back these because I quite like that. They're all quite nice backgrounds in them. So that's that one. And this one. That's a top one. That's got the one with the really little tiny window. So I've used lots of different bits of papers. And so these are the three that we're going to do today so all very different windows and just got a few mushrooms these are from the mushroom and fungi book that i've shown you a couple of times i think it's uh, by octopus i've got my little bag of scraps which i'm gonna empty out at the side of me just so i can uh, pull stuff out and i've also got some full sheets of stuff so that's the Artemis background that's from the fern kit that's from whimsical adventures i can't think who that one's from um and i've got some straw paper from julie's shop at camilla crafts and i've got a bit of this eco print again i've totally forgot who it's from but all the links are in the description so let's make a start. I have inked around them. Um, I have sealed up where they've needed sealing up. I have gone round and glued any bits that are, um, ha you know, I want to say hanging up, but that's not the right word. Um, so yeah, they're ready to, to use. The, the bits that I've cut off, I have put away because... Um, I'm going to do another project with, with those. So I'm going to totally cover uh, them. I obviously don't mind some coffee paper, um, tea paper sticking out. Can anybody see my ruler? Yes, it's under your board, Tanya. Right, that was dangerous, lifting my board up with the with a candle on it so I'm going to start off with this big piece down, down the side to cover that writing um, the bigger pieces I will ink um, I'll try and be as quick as possible in can so that's that I'm gonna go down there. I think I'm gonna leave that edge all the way around. I do quite quite like that. So I'm gonna stick that straight down. I'm gonna use the glue stick and it's the Scotch Create one, which um Dee Dee sent me. Um we don't get this exact same one in the UK. I have bought um another Scotch one, it is called Scotch Creates. 
uh, but it's in totally different packaging so I'm hoping that it is um, the same because th this is the best glue stick I've ever used um, so hopefully and so I've got a two a two pack so we shall see but I've still got some of the uh, I'd say Evo but it's not Evo uh, you who I've still got about four of those left so I'm going to use those up before, before I open uh, that one so that's that bit um, and try and use me scraps rather than um, ripping into the full sheets let's rip that down there so I might have that there. I'm going to want a bit of something down that edge. So let's rip it all around so it's all ripped edges. So that might go there. It's got me bin right at the side of me. I will put labels on these as well when I put the I can't think of words today um, when I put the tabs on I shall put some some labels on them I'm gonna stick this with the art glitter glue because it is a heavier paper it's um, one of the end sheets of the Edith Holden, the Country Diary. So that's that. Clicking on this. Like so. Like that, um, so you want that there. I might do it a little bit lower because I feel like if I have something there, then I do need something to go around there. Um, and it'd be nice to keep a little bit of it, um, <laughs> with the tea stain on. So if I go around there. I won't feel like I need to cover that bit. What else have we got in here? It's got a bit of music. Some of these bits are so small that when you do rip round them, <laughs> there's nothing left. Might actually like that. <laughs> yeah. I think unless, you know, the a certain size. I do think sometimes it's it's just not worth uh, saving them. So no, you're not going to see enough of that to to put it there. Let's just stick about that. That's that. Oh, I could. Have a bit of that. Yeah, I like that. It's going to be a bit hard to, to get it that thin. But anything that's poking off, I can um, cut, cut when it's dry. So I'm going to put that around there. Because I think using this green is, is bringing the green out from 
from the um, journal card inside. difficult to ring this dictionary page is so so uh, thin and put that across across there so <coughs> I'm totally fine with that and say when it's fully dry if anything's hanging off I shall cut it off Um, I will go around with um, the art glitter glue just to it down any any bits that I haven't properly stuck down and I shall put a tab on it and that is that love it so that's that one <coughs> oh I haven't put the mushroom on <laughs> oh what am I like it, it would have been fine without the mushroom really so I think trying to think which um, probably was that one was it that one oh. I think that might have been that This one, I think, was this one. No, that couldn't have been that one. Maybe that was. Okay, we'll do that because I think this one's the widest. Or maybe that one is. But yeah, we'll do that. <coughs> I haven't um, these already. So I shall stick the bigger one down. First, try and get around the edges. Right, that's that one. But yeah, so if you've got no mushroom pictures or whatever theme you're doing it in, it really didn't need. Uh, any I'll say it did look nice without it I'm going to just have that hanging over and cut that bit, bit off just so it's a bit lower than the other one so that's that <laughs> right next one let's have a look at this so, I think I will a bit of mushroom paper there. So I might use the other side. It's quite like the colour of that brown. Let's do that because that will then cover that uh, stamp bit up oh, yep. so let's put that on there try and get it as close to that edge to disguise those lines so that's that 
got my mushroom there before I start ripping ripping it up. So I look what um, some straw paper looks like. like so got a bit more of that wrapping paper left let's try and go around this deer and save save the deer Maybe, or maybe not. Just leave that there. That's that's a possibility. Um, let's have some. Right. Let me stick. Just ink that. I do love the ink on on the straw paper. It's a, a nice a nice colour. Oh, that side, okay. Just wanted to make sure so I didn't um, <coughs> stick it down or anything. Right. I feel like this one's flowing. So I think I'm going to have that down the bottom. I don't know how my fingers are so sticky. I've only just started. Let's give that some ink so I have just filmed um, yesterday's um, 3 and 15 um, challenge but um, I'd videos another video which you'll see Thursday um, about a week ago and I wanted this one to, to be before it so uh, that's why I'm filming them both today so this is me filming you know like current currently so that's that and take a bit of this side down just so it's not got that straight edge just ink that up <clears throat> I think that'll just look better down down that side and we'll have to think think what we're doing with the other side I might just put um, a strip of straw paper down there because obviously now it's going to be a little bit hidden but until you put these bits down you you're never sure what's going to go go where and I know it's there <laughs> and you know it's there so that's that it doesn't look like I've I've inked this one give it a bit of ink around that's that Yep. So yeah, I like that. Just need something 
um, that aside. <coughs> Again, I don't want to go too much up the top because then you feel like you've got to to fill that part <coughs> in. Of the same kind of scraps here. what this looks like that's better yeah that's better let's just tap that down a little bit like so So I did film this earlier, um, I, I got as far as telling you all about the project and showing you the envelope folios and then I thought I'd best check how much battery I've got on my phone and um, I didn't realise that when you like pull the screen bit down it actually um, stops the video. <laughs> And I don't know how to join them, join them on. So I have to start again. And now, because I filmed the Edith Holden one before this, I'm not sure what I said in that one and what I said in this one. So I'm a bit like, oh, let's not say that because I don't know if I've said it. So that's why I'm a little bit um, quiet. So that's that one. I like that one. I like them all. <laughs> It's funny, I say it all the time. I like that one. <clears throat> right, so we've... Ooh. Oh, yes, I'm definitely... What does that open top? So, I think I'm going to keep that edge. Or oh, should I go that way? It's a shame it's not on that side, so I could have ripped a bit into there, because I obviously don't want to... Uh, rip into the animals but I, don't, I, I just can't do straight edges and I guess there's people who, who can't do oh sorry fox who can't do um, ripped edges um, Yeah, I just, I just don't find it pleasing to, to look at when it's all straight. I can I can cope with that bit being straight, with it being right on, on the edge. So, I'm not going to stick this down yet because I'm thinking something's going to have to tuck under it because I don't want something to go over it because if it goes over gonna lose the lose the animals so I wonder if this again yeah I like that I 
can't remember who this backing paper is off and I use it a lot. Um, there's this one and <clears throat> there's a green one as well and I do use them uh, a lot. But because I've put them, oh my goodness, this, this glue's just melted everywhere. I've to get, get a wipe. Um, because I've put it in a folder, what's on the computer called backing paper. Um, I don't know what kit it's come from. And I'm thinking it can't be a very big kit because I would remember um, what it was from. But I feel like it just came with some tags or something. Uh, like that. How come that's longer now? I'm sure I ripped that to the to the right size. How bizarre. Um yeah so I just can't can't remember. But yeah it's a very um versatile and same same with the green one. Right, I'm gonna slide that right to the to the edge. Like that. So that's that. I think we need a bit of um darkness on there. Now Got this tall mushroom. So I'll have to think about its positioning. Oh fox, you're really not in the right place. I'd probably have to have it there. So I could do with something. Not that. Maybe that. I don't think I've got anything green. I think everything's uh, brown. That's very samey, isn't it? But it, it does go. I'm not always quick, see. Yeah, I'm not too, not too sure. It's just the placement of, of that fox. I feel like it's got to cover just that that little bit there because when it is showing like that it does then look um, weird. Um, have I got any more of that paper because I don't know if to just carry that, that over. I don't think. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. 
So I'm not going to ink that side because I don't want it to be noticeable that um, it's been joined on. It's like a surgery. Right. What if I went like that? Yeah. Oof, goodness me. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna gonna be able to find anything. But yeah, I need to um put some more scraps in my scraps because they are just brown which <coughs> obviously that's what I've been putting in because I'm doing woodland but I do need some green right let's just give that a bit more of a ink I'm, say I'm sure I did ink them all yeah it looks as if it had been inked one side and, and not the other I'm going to say sometimes when you're inking a lot of things you you just overlook it so I've just seen the time I'm actually going to do um, the other project in another video because it's already uh, 40 minutes and I think it will take me a while to to do the other one Right, we want um, something. Need think something. I would love to put more on there, but it it's just too samey, isn't it? Um. Nope. Like that. I think that's um, a sticker. A little bit. Yeah, that was like a roll of um, tape and it was quite a, a wide one. Um, I think I got it from eBay a long, a long time ago. Like that. That's a little bit of that um, fold kit from from Nanine at College Art. Oh, sorry. If I, well, I know I banged the camera, so sorry. So it's quite low. It's only. <laughs> it's like just. It's in my eye line, really. something longer I don't think it needs more boxes really do want to put some some dark brown into it let's have a look what that looks like yeah and then I'll probably use a label there in in the dark brown but I do think it needed um, a bit of darkness Under that last bit, that's that. So that's that one. Oh, I felt that was a bit challenging, really. But I do think it was, um, you know, what what I have got 
um, scrap wise and like I say it's all browns with you know just the odd bit of the paper so I'll sort some greens out and, and put them in so that's those um, quite different the the last three that I've just made to the to the first three surprising isn't it different days I your collage different so that's the ones that I've made today and then the, I think these are more lighter and then these ones so that's that so I'm gonna let you go for now I'm gonna tidy my desk up because it's a right mess <laughs> I'm gonna drink my coffee and I shall get organized for the next video um yeah so i'll see you in that and that'll be on thursday so see you soon bye